it, we um, a shout out to Ray Cadell. Um, I remember what show that was? Maybe it was last Wednesday. Um, you know, he was he was talking about uh, you know something we used to at least I saw in the mid '80s. It definitely started in the '70s. Is this uh, buy downs right? This two one or three two ones. So can you just give everybody just a quick class how that works and what's the difference between that and let's say an arm? Okay. Right? So, but perfect, uh, lead them with the arm. So, on adjustable rate mortgage, you're still probably going to be paying, uh, it's, it's still not super attractive for investors. Uh, you may be paying a full discount point just to lock at whatever the rate is going to be. Let's say on, a, on the 5-1, uh, there's a, you found a small bank or someone who's going to hold their own notes uh, that's going to do it for, say, uh, 5% or 4.75. Uh, whereas today... Let's say you could lock at 6.75 uh, in a, a 2-1 buy down, and then you're, the only way it truly works is to use concessions from the seller. Yeah. So I would talk to the borrower and to the agent and say, hey, we want to get an additional 3% uh, to use for this, and they would then go and uh, you'd make an offer. We'd lock the rate. We'd use the concessions uh, to pay for the buy-down. Now, what that really means is you're buying down the prepaid interest for 24 months. You're going to have a fixed rate at the end. So if you refinance the loan, you're actually refunded the difference. So in an arm, if you were to refinance that loan, you're not getting anything yeah, back. Yeah. Whereas if, let's say that... You, you also re- take the risk of... The edge adjusting let's, up, down let's the road. Let's assume the rates go up, you know, in this scenario. This, this being uh, year one, year 4.75, year two, 5.75, year three, 6.75, and in perpetuity after. Um, whereas in the adjustable rate mortgage, you, you could, you know, you, you, it, could, it could run on. Uh, so, so 